The opinions expressed in this piece are that of the Laughing Ogre and should in no way be mistaken for those of any sane and rational individual. Now folks, are the police getting a little out of hand? Should we consider what's going on posse commentatus? Well, sit back and relax, because here comes the Laughing Ogre! <laughs> it's so good to be back here again with you constant viewers. Um, I haven't been doing too many videos lately. Not going to dwell on why or whatever. Just been lazy probably is the main reason why. So without any further ado, in hopes to bolster our numbers and to show people that, yes, I have an opinion and I do care about you. I do want to offer these little five to ten minute rants. Hope that you enjoy. This struck me in a way that I not only talked about it yesterday in church, I'm going to bring it up now. So if you care to, join with me right now. Uh, this is, uh, I'll put a link in the description who was it to who was it that did this video on the original that, that posted this did such a wonderful job so let's just jump into this uh, case of police overreach and, uh, I, I tell you it's a little scary to me in this day and age that we have to deal with these kind of police officers I need my ID. I need to talk to you about uh, a complaint from the neighborhood. What's the, what's the complaint about? The complaint is about sound amplification. The complaint is about sound amplification. You can only make, you can complain about anybody you want, but the only way the police get involved is if you've broken the law. This is an example of there not being a law broken. No law broken. The police are involved as this pastor of all people, now does his best to very humbly educate this police officer. Let's see how he takes it. Uh, because now there's been a serious complaint. He's come to bring it before this citizen. The citizen has a response. Obviously a well-rehearsed response that was well-researched beforehand. This human being knows their rights. Well, that's, that's a legal activity. Sound amplification is legal? Yeah, I, mean, I can show you. Well, I can show I you. Illegally yeah. I'm talking about disturbing somebody's peace. Now, he has articulated what he believes to be a problem, okay? But you can't just say this person's disturbing my peace. You can't just do that. Otherwise, anyone that I didn't like, I could say they were disturbing my peace. They could stop them from driving down my road or, or whatever, showing up in my local barista. My, my favorite steakhouse, my local pub. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's been, deal with. yeah, that's been ruled on. No, don't, don't give me the law, just if I could get your name, would be great. Okay. All right, and since I want this to be short, I just want you to see what this person typed here. It's just a quote, don't give me the law. The officer's here because of a complaint about someone breaking the law. Why would the law not apply? It's, this is beyond overreach. But we have this police officer, he did his best. And so they asked for a supervisor to be sent to clarify this, to clear this up. And they sent this human being. And this human being is the reason for this video. I have a small appeal for you when this is done. Yeah. Okay. I'm Sergeant Liz Lenzen, Tempe PD. I have a sound bite for you. Sergeant Lenz, Liz Lenzen, Tempe PD. Automatically unprofessional. Cops get a bad rap sometimes for their stoicism. We need stoic cops. We do not need some kind of female here coming up with her very uh, 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 emasculated, passive-aggressive, I am the boss, I don't care what you think or what you say attitude. Um, hey, who's been using the megaphone? Uh, I have. Yeah, and what's your name? Jeff. Jeff who? Yeah, Jeff. It's Pastor Jeff. Pastor Jeff? Yes. I'm so supposed to know. Where are you pastor at? Uh, Apology at Church in Tempe. Okay. She was going to say, I'm supposed to know who you are by that. No, that's the point. You have no right to know. We have a right to know who you are, Liz, but you do not have a right to know who we are. You can ask all you want. 
there's no crime. The law here protects us from illegal searches and seizures, from to feel safe and secure in our person, property, effects, and papers. And we need not show you anything based on a spurious report, madam. Team Jeff? Uh, do you need that for anything? Yes, we do, because we, we have a complaint that we're working. That's why we're here. Okay. Well, Otherwise, we would not be here. So I'm complaining about this person. Uh, I'll give it in my appeal. But I would like someone to accost this woman and to explain to her that she is not a goddess. She's not a god. She has not been appointed any more power than any citizen. We operate under posse commentatus. Police from the people. No, I respect your position. I was just telling this officer over here, in order to, for me to identify myself, I have to be cited with a, a crime according to Arizona state law. Well, we're going to give you a warning right now, so we're going to need that for a street check. So what's your last name? Okay, so the warning is a violation of the law? Well, because... Well, the warning is a violation of the law. Let's see where she goes with that. Amplified sound device. Well, what I was saying to the officer was... That? He's right over here. Now, completely disregards him. As I was saying to the officer, this man is very polite. Never butts in. As she just goes off of this when he's trying to explain, you have to have a decibel meter here. You can't just have a vague generality and your own opinion or somebody's idea that they want to shut me down, therefore they register a complaint. You have to have a decibel meter that says he's over 56 or 60, whatever it is, decibels. This is all code that this law enforcement officer is bound to follow. Zach, where's the other Zach? Exactly. Morgan, one. he's out of state right now. Okay, I'm used to, they know me, and Stephen knows me. So, you're going to be given a warning, you cannot use, and well, officer, you, you can't know. do that. Officer, you can't do that unless you have a calibrated meter according to city code. Oh, we can. And you um, test it. Yeah, we can. And so, you you're can gonna, violate this law? We have a complaint that's a citizen. A complaint of illegal activity. We have a complaint? Of illegal activity. A dis I could complain about someone what? Going to church? Um... Um, watering their lawn when there's no restriction, washing their car. I don't like the way somebody looks, what they wear. I can just make a complaint. The police will come and tell them to change their clothes, stop watering their lawn. This human being has done nothing illegal. The police are right now being political. They're taking a political side. I am not for going out and protesting abortion clinics, even though I'm pro-life. Yeah, it's just not my speed, not my style, but these people have a right. And I have seen folks to protest the protesters, so to say, uh, when they're going for pro-death and, and they're out there screaming, we want to murder babies. I don't ever see this happening on that case. If there is a case of that and you're watching, please let me know about it. I don't see that happening. Early conduct. Ma'am, That you, if you read the city code, you'll We're see not you arguing. can't. You've been given a warning. You can't use your amplified sound device. If you will, you go to jail. You've already been given that warning. Ma'am, you're not even looking at the, you're a supervisor. You won't look at the law? No, I know the law. We'll file a suit against you. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. -N -Z -N. Okay, let's get that on the key. Know the law. We'll file a suit against you. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. We'll file a suit against you. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. -N -Z -N. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. Go ahead. Okay. Lenzen. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, let's get that on the camera. Okay. Okay. Please. Lenzen. Okay, let's get that on the camera. Yeah, Officer Lenzen. I will provide you links. We got our cams going. Officer Lenzen, would you like it to look at the law? Okay, we'll do this. Lenzen. Is this professional activity on your part it to is. act and behave in this manner? No. We've got a warning, so please no. don't do it. We don't what's really the warning have for? This is my question. What's the I warning for? Okay. Officer, what's the warning for? Amplified sound device. That's legal activity. You can't use you it. You won't look at this? Don't use it. Don't it's a legal activity. We have a complaint. Ma'am, we'll sue you for violating our constitutional you can rights. Sue us. You can. Hmm. It's your right. It is my right. And, and I want to I do this for the record of the court. She will not look at the city code. Good morning. Thank you. You won't look at the city code? No, I already know it. Yeah, ma'am, I reject your warning. Okay. Mm. I reject it. We're gonna talk. And we're going to continue to use sound application because our, it's our constitutional right. And if you if you try to violate our constitutional rights, we will sue you okay. and the city of Tempe. Okay? okay? All right. And just I'll tell you what, record, I have so much respect for this person. I hate to cut it off there, but I do want to keep this short, and I'm just going to tell you right now. It is incumbent upon all of us when tyranny comes and rears its ugly face in our direction, that we stand up against that tyranny at all costs. Nothing shows that you have a deep-seated, completely committed attitude toward what you believe than you saying, I am willing to go to jail. I will sue you 
for for t t taking my rights, but in the meantime, in the interim, I may lose my dignity. I may lose my freedom. You puny little woman that should not be a police officer. There's no way. And I understand. Everybody's going to say, well, they have a gun. No. Too many examples of females just not. There's a lot of men that shouldn't be police officers. If you're going to be a police officer, you better be tough. I'm not saying you have to weigh 200 pounds to be six feet tall, but you better be tough. And if you're not tough, you got to go. How, what are you going to do when you respond to the domestic violence and they both turn on you? What are you going to do when you go to the bar brawl and they turn on you? Just going to pull out your pistol and start killing people because that's the only thing that can make you equal? No. These totalitarian tactics, these torturous totalitarian tactics that are imposed upon us by a government that cares not for our opinions, our ideas, our safety, or anything else. The only thing that they care is do as we say, regardless of the law. Stand up, folks. Remember this preacher. Look in the low bar. Go check out High Impact Films. There will be a link to the video that turned me on to this and got me looking at this from High Impact Films. There will be a link to this video from this person that did a wonderful job. Sorry I'm not naming you by name. And at this festive time of the year, when I think about this disgraceful human being, this, 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 this so-called peace officer, I'm reminded of one thing. Be good to your friends. Be good to your family members. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friends, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget about it. Because, constant viewer, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life, your cause, and everything you know will depart from you. <laughs> we wish you a